endoscopic ultrasound guided in butyl 2 cyanoraclate injection into bleeding multinodular duodenal varixis. Successful case of US guided N butyl 2 cyanoraclate into multinodular bleeding duodenal varixis. Duodenal varixis are rare GI varixis and often occur due to portal hypertension. U.S. guided cyanoraclate injection has been reported to be successful against gastric varixis. There are several reports about the safety and efficiency of endoscopic cyanoraclate injection against duodenal varixis. This is a case of a 76-year-old woman who was diagnosed unresectable pancreatic cancer in 2015. Since then, she had been receiving gemocytamine monotherapy for the previous one year. At admission, the patient had severe anemia and elevation of blood urea nitrogen level. CT scan showed occlusion of the superior mesenteric vein and portal vein by invasive tumor. A multinodular duodenal varexis with contrast enhancement around the self-expanding metal stent. Endoscopy was operated and multinodular varixis from the second to the third portion of the duodenum was revealed. One of the varixis happened to have a white plug. Banding was initially performed for the varix with the white plug. We decided the treatment was inadequate, so we decided to operate US guided cyanoraclate injection in order to achieve complete obliteration. This is the endoscopy image of the banded varix. Also shown in the picture, you can see multinodular varixis. Using EUS, we were able to see rich blood flow inside the varixis. During the procedure, the band comes off and massive bleeding occurs. Even though the bad endoscopic view, EUS made it possible for us to reveal the varix with active bleeding. These are the materials we prepared for the procedure. Using a 22 gauge EUS FNA needle, we punctured the varix as shown in the video. After the puncture, we injected 0.5 milliliters of undiluted cyanoraclate followed by 2 to 3 milliliters of saline water. We did the same procedure three times, changing the needle every time. As shown in the video under US Vision, we were able to confirm instant solidification of injected cyanoraclate. This is the third procedure. A total amount of 1.5 milliliters of undiluted cyanoraclate was injected. On day 4 after the procedure, CT scan showed the disappearance of contrast enhancement inside the varixis. The patient was discharged on day 15. After 6 months follow-up after the procedure, the patient had not developed any new episodes of bleeding. Two months later, endoscopy was operated. As shown in the video, cyanoraclate was seen to come out of the varix due to complete obliteration. This is a successful case of repeated cyanoraclate injection against multinodular duodenal varixis. EUS-guided intervention has the advantage of following the varixis to be clearly visualized in bleeding situations. U.S. visualizes confirmation of the injection needle entry into the bricks and precise cyanoraclate injection and solidification in real time. Repeated U.S. guided cyanoraclate injection was useful for bleeding multinodular juvenile bricks.